is it? Well, nobody told me about it yet. Sorry about that. I just assumed Archon Elric would have told you about it. Actually, it's about Shirley. She's being quite reckless, and she wants to get back to Vera as soon as possible to look for traces of Zeke. However, the space rift connecting the two locations has yet to stabilize. Currently, Hyk. Also, Shirley's identity is rather. Uh, you. Are you ready to go? Yep. This memory backup is prepared especially for you. After all, you lost your memory once, so I'm worried that you may be unexpectedly affected when shuttling between different planes while using the space rifts. She dang. The backup is complete. Now you can go back and experience your memories whenever you want. Unfortunately, you still can't recover the memories that you lost. Thank you. Your memory backup will be in the good hands of our technicians, so don't worry. By the way, Shirley is still waiting for you, so make sure you go and see her before you leave. Did everything go well? Um, about backing up your memories, I mean. Yeah, thanks for asking. No, no, I don't want my willful request to trouble you in any way. Actually, it doesn't matter if you don't want to accompany me. Surely, we don't have to act like strangers. Sorry, that's not what I meant. I... I just don't know how I should face everyone, given who I am now. Am I Nemesis? A puppet of the heirs of Ida? Or... You're my friend, Shirley. We still have a lot to do together. I promised to help you find your brother. And I promised everyone in the shelter that I would bring both you and Zeke back together. We... still have a lot of things we need to do together. Yes. We've been through a lot together, and we've lost many things that belong to us. We'll get them back, together. Yes, I'm... Same here. 
Thank you for telling me this. I feel much better now. Let's go. Archon Elric, Dr. Claire, and that new world called Vera are waiting for us. Directional parameters were corrected, but the results still need verification. So, can the stability of the current anchor points be maintained? I've calibrated the orientation device at the... Greetings, Executor. We have successfully hey, opened the good. dimensional passage to the Vera region. A squad from the Executor Order has been dispatched to investigate. The Vera region was under the jurisdiction of Hycros District 7 back before the Cataclysm. A couple of years ago, Mook Squad went to re-establish contact with the area. Now, District 7 has expressed willingness to work with us. The mission this time is to ask you to act as Shirley's guardian as you accompany her to the Vera region. Shirley is keen to find any trace of her brother. You could save yourself a heap of trouble if the locals were willing to help. Ah, well, Shirley still isn't fully stable, after all. We need someone we can trust to go with her. I know I really shouldn't trouble everyone with this, but I just worry about my brother so much. I heard through the grapevine mm. that the Vera region is the home of the invasive creature called Grayspace Entities. They're a serious threat to the local ecology and human safety. We are currently in discussions with District 7 over how to cooperate in tackling this gray space entities threat. Until we have the situation under control, however, be sure to exercise extreme caution. Dr. Claire has already calibrated the space rift parameters, so you and Shirley are good to go at will. The headquarters of District 7 is in a huge city known as Miroria. You should ask their Archon, Larson, for help. Making such a long-distance transmission is no easy task. You should prepare yourselves.
finally made it! It's been a while, Pepper. Dizziness or other discomfort? I... I'm fine. Completely normal. Thanks for asking. Oh, that's good. I was worried that such a long transmission would have some unpleasant effects. What is this place? This is the Silver Coast Research Station under District 7. They've managed to re-establish contact with Asperia with this equipment. We're in Mavoria now? Well, this research facility is actually in the north of the Yellow Rock Desert, but Maroria is not too far. Oh, right over there! I'm Eva, the director of the Silver Coast Research Station. On behalf of District 7, a warm welcome to you both. Arkin Larson has been informed of your arrival, and you are free to travel to Meoria headquarters as you please. However, Technician Baru has detected a potential space-time fluctuation near the research station, which could possibly affect the whole area. To be on the safe side, I'd recommend remaining here until the fluctuations have resolved. I see. Any idea how long that might be? I'm afraid I can't give a clear answer to that right now. Though Budo is actively collecting and analyzing the data, I'll be sure to let you know the second I have any further information. <sighs> I hate not knowing how long I'll have to wait. Pepper, do you know how many executors were dispatched from District 9? Hmm, apart from the Mook Squad that was stationed here a couple of years ago, there was also Meryl, Zero, Huma, and Samir. Oh, and now you, of course! However, everyone's in this super important meeting in Mororia. I think they're discussing the best response to the Grayspace entities. I'm just here as part of your welcoming committee. Grayspace entities? We heard Archon Elric mention them too. Yep. They're Maroria's biggest problem at the moment. I don't know much about them, though, so maybe you're better off asking Director Ava. Hey guys, I'm not full yet. Oops. We 
have some questions, Director Eva. What can I do for you? Ask away, and I'll do my best to answer. This is a scientific facility focused on researching Omnium technology. Due to potential safety issues, it had to be located away from the densely populated Meoria headquarters. Recently, thanks to the gray space entity incursions growing out of control, we have become unable to guarantee the security of the facility. Larson is actively considering relocating key equipment and personnel back to headquarters. The Mook Squad brought us a lot of invaluable insights, and we know that District 9's Omnium Tech research is light years ahead of us. So I'm excited for the possibility of future collaboration. Dr. Eva, we have a situation. The spatial fluctuations are greatly intensifying. It's a temporal anomaly caused by a powerful abyss. This shouldn't be possible. Buru, report to HQ immediately and request support. I'm trying! The fluctuations are generating too much interference. We can't get a clear connection to headquarters. Keep trying! Security close blast doors, power force fields, activate security droid. Okay! What happened? The cause of this space-time fluctuation is a rare, powerful abyss. Get ready for Gray Space Entity's assault. But at present, we are unable to contact HQ or request external assistance. If they launch an all-out assault, it would be catastrophic for us. <sighs> we'll help fend them off. Follow me. System warning. Red alert. Red alert. All non-combatants, please go to the nearest safe zone and remain there until further notice. Look over there. The abyssin symbiosis! We have to hurry! Fuck. 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 Held them temporarily. Buru's detected several unstable space time rifts nearby, so this is far from over. Has communication with Miroria been restored? We still have no means of contacting Miroria headquarters. I can only hope that they noticed the space time fluctuations over here and proactively sent the support. We don't have enough energy to maintain the force field for much longer. Pepper, you stay here and help defend the facility. I'm going to try to bust out of here with Shirley and go get help from headquarters. You sure that's a good idea? We don't have a lot of options. It's the best of a bad bunch. The all-terrain vehicle over there will get you across the desert in a flash. Be careful! Oh, shit. Medical unit is ready. Let me take care of it. Medical unit is ready.
Yum.
pas compris ce qui se passe là. On est le dernier bloc comme un comme un puto. Oui.
Euh, il a chopé comment tout ça You guys all right? I'm Lynn from District 7. What's going on over at the research station? We lost contact here in Mororia. I suppose you could say it's still secure. Director Ava has sealed off all points of ingress, and Pepper is helping with defenses. Lynn, it seems that the Abyssant has escaped into the space-time rift. It was wounded, and shouldn't be able to attack us for the time being. The gray space entities around the research facility, however, still haven't been dealt with. Meryl, we'll leave the research station to your team. I'll take them to see Archon Larson. Yeah. Follow me, Executor. Follow me, Ruby. Mm. Mm. Thank <laughs> you. 
Please look forward to my performance.
They're here, Mia. Go on up. We're taking a... plane? Ruby, you seem to like little Mia, right? Of course I like Mia. Can we sit together? Sure. Get on board with her then. The gateway to Miroria is in the sky? In response to the Grayspace Entity's threat, the Miroria Security Force set up a huge defensive force field on the surface. Nothing's getting into the city from the ground. Right now, the only way in is via the Mororia Skyport. Let's get on board. Miss Lynn? Mr. Cowell, do you know where Larson is, by any chance? The Archon is waiting at the Furnace Core site. I am here to welcome you. Allow me, Lieutenant Cowell, to welcome you all on behalf of Mororia to District 9. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Cowell. Are you okay, Mia? Does she always speak like that? Mia's language module has a few errors, which makes her speak like that occasionally. We're all used to it, however. S -s sorry for the t -t 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 trouble. Cowell, is Shelley's vacation over? Ms. Shelley? I believe she's still got two days, but there's a record showing she was urgently recall. Oh? Seems we might be in luck. Shelley is Mororia's technical consultant. If you agree, Maybe she could check over Mia, and repair anything she can. I just hope she hasn't left headquarters yet. Let's go. Follow me, please. Here in Vera needs suppressors? The Tower of Fantasy here was severely damaged in the Cataclysm. Unable to provide steady Omnium, we had to give it up. Later on, one of our Archons came up with some tech that dramatically increases the body's resistance to Omnium radiation. Over the years, the levels of Omnium radiation have shown a marked decline in the Vera region. People no longer need to rely on various support devices to survive. That is the Vera Tower of Fantasy. All of Mororia is built around it. Is that... Lynn? Oh yes. She is quite the idol in many young Viren's eyes. She single-handedly defeated a powerful abyssum not that long ago. Ahead is the District 7 headquarters. Please, this way to Archon Larson.
Bon. Je vois où
looking good, Lynn. Shelly, what are you doing here? And no need to feign surprise. Cowell sent a message saying you were looking for me. I'd be long gone otherwise. Well then, I'm very grateful that you stuck around. Well, it was the acclaimed and admired Lynn requesting my help. How could I refuse? However, I'm technically still on vacation, so if I have to work, how are you going to make it up to me? Hmm. How about a VIP meal at Oasis? Well, the food over there is good, I'll grant you, but I still feel like... Ten meals. That should suffice for this month. Aha! Then we have a deal! All right, so tell me what you need me to do. These are two guests from District 9. They have a smart servant, Mia, with a damaged language module. We were hoping you could take a look. Oh? A District 9 smart servant? Where? Mia, don't you like strawberry cream donuts? What about delicious cake? Or sweet pear pudding? Chocolate rolls? <laughs> Chocolate. Rules. Huh? Our little friend looks really happy. Miss Shelley, do you really think you can repair Mia? Oh, yes, the language module. I can certainly take a look, though I've never- Shelley is an outstanding mechanic. Mia is in totally- Don't worry. Go- Welcome to you both. I am Larson, Archon of District 7. Archon Elric has already informed us about Zeke. I've sent someone to investigate Miroria's travel logs, but there is no record of Zeke. If he really did come to the Vera region, he's most likely doing his best to stay under the radar. Larson, could Zeke be trapped in the Abyssin Field? I've considered that my Abyssin Field? What? Some powerful abyssins can generate an abnormal localized space-time around themselves. Hey, follow me. Bio samples in these cultivation tanks were taken from a defeated, powerful abyssant. We call them Christomaxes, and they're crucial to the field ability of an abyssant. Each one has its own unique characteristics, so the field ability of each abyssant will likewise be different. These samples are priceless. By studying them, we can gain a deeper understanding of both abyssant biological traits and field abilities. Perhaps, one day, we too will be able to control space. Once a Christomax is removed from an abyssant's body, however, they start to lose their bioactivity. These three samples have already lost their value for research, and we need some fresh samples to complete our study. 
Only the strongest, powerful Abyssins are able to form this special structure. And right now, we have no effective way of locating such Abyssins. Even if we could, defeating such a creature is no small task. Is there anything we can do to help? Archon Elric has provided us with advanced spatial monitoring technology, which Larson is currently working out how to use to monitor Abyssin activity. I will also put together... I would like to invite you two to join us. The sooner we can complete our Abyssin research... Lynn, while I have every confidence in your work, our two guests... Encore Fortnite Ah, c'est puissant. Understood, Arkham. You'll be responsible for the Executor and Shirley. Please ensure that suitable accommodation is found for them in Miroria. No need to worry. Everything's all ready. After such a busy day, I'm sure you two must be tired. Let's go see how Mia's doing, and then I'll take you to your accommod... Problem. Mia, try this. Shelly, Shirley, Shelly, Shirley, Shirley, Shelly, Shirley. Shelly, Shirley, Shirley. Come on, Shelly. That's too difficult. Hmm. Have you found a way to fix Mia's problem, Shelly? Even though I'm not particularly familiar with this model of smart servant. I reckon there can't be much of a difference with our smart droids. So it should be pretty simple. Just leave her to me and I'll take good care of her. Huh? No need to worry. I'll let you know immediately if there's any progress. I promise. Are you used to the environment and climate here yet? I hear that Asperia doesn't have such a vast desert. I'm just a bit surprised how you can sustain a huge city in such an arid desert. Mororia has a comprehensive resource recovery system. Allocations of food, water, and energy 20 years ago. Our scientists attempted to fashion a better environment for the people. They were this close to succeeding. Before the appearance of the Abyssant derailed. Abyssants caused this inhospitable desert? A top picket minute. Donc elle vient. Donc c'est elle.
Abyssins destroyed many ecological stations on the surface, forcing us to stop our terraforming project. Not just that. The people here have been through a lot. The Mororia Archives preserves many historical records. It's definitely worth a visit, if you're interested. Well, that's lucky. As I'm curious to learn more about this place. Wanna come with me? Okay, let's go. Они попали. Et puis qu'on a un marteau. de pas gourer Thank you. 
Here we are, the Mororia Archives. There are many exhibits inside which can help you better understand the history of this land. Are you not coming with us, Lin? I'm sorry, but I just received a message from headquarters. Something's come up which needs me to help remotely, so I'm afraid I won't be able to go with you. You two go on ahead. Once I've taken care of my task, I'll meet you both back here when you're done. place before. Even though I have heard the heirs of Ida talk about the past many times, it's not the same as seeing things right before my eyes. It's a totally different feeling. I hope that one day people's suffering ends, and the planet can come back to life again. There's still a way to go. Yes, we have a lot to do. Help the people here resolve the crisis and then find my brother. Do you still want to look around? If you're done, we can go find Lin. All done? different things. Considering that this place and Asperia used to be a part of the same world, I felt that some things seemed familiar, while others were totally alien. I heard Samir once say that your world has mountains and oceans, glaciers and snowfields. But for someone like me from Aurora, apart from all that steel and neon, there is only barren desert and stone. I hope there comes a day, when all of this is behind us, that I can visit Asperia and witness such beautiful scenery with my own eyes. It would be our honor to have you visit, Lin. I'll take that as a formal invitation. No taking it back. Sure, that's settled.
Euh, ça c'est quoi C'est bloqué. Ah.
Pas compris, c'est pas grave. Your accommodation is being processed. Please wait a moment. Thank you, Lynn. You're welcome. I'll be in Mororia for a while. And hope I can help get you accustomed to things here. Especially since taking on the gray space entities won't be easy. Don't run too far, Ruby. Okay. Would you say Ruby's important to you, Lynn? Ruby was entrusted to me by an old friend before she left. I swore that I'd look after her. We're the same there. We each have someone we don't want to let down. Des métages direct. Attends.
No. Sí, sí. Grüße. Message du Air France. Ah, attends. Je suis chaud. Je suis content de Je 
Bon, on va être pour aujourd'hui, donc euh, le refroidir. pour aujourd'hui ben bah, euh, portail euh, 21h30 il y a à tout à l'heure ciao ciao